Just come to look at this 2017 Peugeot Boxer van. So, if we start the van, we've got this particular filter light here, and it's also got the engine light over here. And we're going to try and have a look at that. So, after running some diagnostics, it's got a cylinder one glow plug fault, exhaust gas recirculation valve, and a particular filter. Got a few different faults for that. So this um, fault here is related to the evaporator or vaporizer um, underneath the van. It's a common problem, they're always going faulty and that's going to need looking at. We're going to recommend having, having that replaced really, but um, also the DPF needs to regenerate and it probably just needs flushing while we're at it. So on the passenger side of the van we remove the headlight and right here there's a fuse blown, which controls the evaporator, vaporizer. So we're going to try and replace that fuse and see if it still blows again. And we've got our little box of fuses here ready. So we've put a replacement fuse in there, now we're going to try and clear these faults and see what happens. So we're taking it for a test drive. For about 5 miles the engine management light's gone back on, but the DPF one's stayed clear. And we're left with this EGR fault here, and then we've got conditions that are met for the particular filter. So we're going to try and clean the EGR valve and then get back and see what happens. So we've cleaned the EGR valve, and um, we've taken it for a 20 minute drive here. And we haven't got any more. DPF lights or engine management lights, all seems good. What we're going to do now is go underneath the van, I've got a dispenser here just filled with some DPF flushing fluid and we're going to fill the DPF up. So if you're underneath the van and you come up along here, there's your DPF pressure sensor. And we're just going to disconnect the lower pipe which goes to the front of the DPF and then we can insert the fluid through here which will go into the DPF. Just gonna fill that up with our fluid. And we're just taking it for another drive after we've done all the work. You've got that oil light flashing out there, and that's a separate problem. Um, he said he's had that there. That light's been flashing for over two years, and the Peugeot dealership's never been able to solve it, so I'm not too sure what that's about, so we're not looking at that. Um, so at the minute we've got all of our DPF lights, EGR valve, false, everything's gone and the vaporizer fault has gone, we've put a new fuse in, but I have said it's a, uh, you know, that's uh, that's going to be a temporary because if the fuse is blown once because of the vaporizer it's going to blow again. Inside the vaporizer there's a glow plug and that uh, heats up inside so there's obviously a problem with that. So it's going to need a new vaporizer going in there. The glow plug inside the evaporator is used to it's used to evaporate the uh, the fuel when it injects it into the DPF, and it's got a short circuit in the inside, so it's going to need replacing. But the van is driving okay for now. Taking it on a couple of test drives. Um, so we'll have another video soon when we're going to replace the evaporator. It's a Saturday now and it's dark. So Monday we'll have a new evaporator and have that fitted which is going to stop them having this problem coming back again. So I'll come back Monday and we'll be fitting a vaporizer on that van. We'll show you how to fix that fault. Uh, P15BE I think it was. And the rest of the problems are going to be all solved. Um, there's a possible chance it might need an EGR valve, but we've put some cleaner through it and it seems to fix the problem. But the vaporizer one will come back unless it's replaced. Quite common, we've replaced a dozen of those in the last few months. But yeah, we might make a video on that and then show you on Monday. 
See you later.